Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday morning here in Austin, Texas. Uh, this is day, I don't know, one one twenty something of three plus minutes of Planks Challenge. And as always, I am filled with gratitude. Hey, it's 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 marathon. It's marathon Austin Marathon Sunday, baby. Um, <laughs> I'm so hyped. Hey, it's uh, I've been up since about three thirty in the morning. Uh, my alarm went off a little bit ago, about four thirty in the morning, um, and I'm just <laughs> man, I'm so hyped up. I'm I'm, I'm extremely hyped this morning. Um, couple things I'm thinking to this morning. Uh, last night, um, I was in the middle of watching. I watched uh, Genius, the Kanye West uh, trilogy uh, documentary. Um, <laughs> Cootie, Chike Brothers, um, amazing doc. Um, I'm going to tell you something about myself. Actually, I'm going to tell you something about, first of all, Kanye, and I'll talk about David God, because those are the two that were in my mind this morning. Um, I grew up in Chicago, um, hip hop scene, um, and I watched, you know, a lot of the a lot, of, a lot of the footage that I saw, had already seen before. Some of it I lived, some of it I'd seen from afar. Um, and I'm going to tell you something about myself and a little bit something about Kanye. Um, we grew up in the same hip hop scene, and we would see each other along the way, um, you know, um, doing shows together. Uh, a lot of same associates, just hanging out and things of the sort. And um, I remember Kanye was always the same Kanye. Now he's that he has fame and money behind him now, but that brother was so confident. Um, but even in that confidence, the interesting thing too was there was insecurity as well that you could see. But he fought through all of those things because he believed in who he was. Now. Something that's always been interesting to me was the fact that um, I would watch him and the way he was, a lot of times I would just think that he was crazy. Um, but when I start to think about things, I think it's because the problem was for me conforming to society and thinking that, oh, no one's supposed to be that way. No one's supposed to think that way. No one's supposed to be that way. So. Just like everyone else, I was like, oh, yeah, he's crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <sighs> All these different things. Um, but something that I realized is that deep down inside of me, I always kind of understood where he was coming from. I understood it because I knew, not, looking, at, looking back on it now, I understood that I had the same sort of aspirations but I was too scared, too controlled by guilt, too controlled about my past to approach those things, you know? And so looking at that, thinking about that, I'm like, you know what? Uh, you know, I, but I understood it. Sorry, go, getting off topic a little bit. Um, so years later, removed from that, being in the space that I am in now, Knowing that I can't lose, knowing that no matter what anyone says about me, whether they believe in me or don't believe in me, it doesn't matter because I believe in me. I understand it. You know, I talk about this sometimes about the idea of sometimes I'll take in information and I won't necessarily understand the information. I will just, um, you know, I will just take in the information, like I said. And then wait to the appropriate time where I can understand it and bring that information out and realize like, oh, wow. <sighs> that's what he, that's what he was thinking. That's what it means. That's what that feeling is like. <sighs> I'm blessed because I got to that space. Now, I'm a little behind in my journey, but you know what? It takes time. It takes time. So anyway, watching that trilogy watching the first episode seeing the vision 
seeing how it felt like society was against him, not society, but the industry and everything, and still pushing through. Man, that just took me to the next level. It took me to the next level. Man, there ain't nothing. There's nothing you can do or say to me that don't tell me that I can't win. And then on top of that, on top of that, I got a God that got my back. Woo! Let me talk about David Goggins. I was on a flight from uh, LaGuardia to Boston. And I was in the beginning of my journey. And I met a young lady who was a basketball coach on a flight. I understood there was something about this young lady that stood out to me. I couldn't explain it. So I started to I started and spark the conversation because that's a lot of the things that I do now. You know, I just start conversations with people, random people, just because, you know, they may have some insight that I don't know about that I want to gain. So I say to myself, hey, um, Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me some things about you. Tell me your passions. Tell me whatever. <sighs> this young lady recommended the book by David Goggins. I had never heard of him before. Never knew who he was. But I decided, you know, I'm going to read it. I read his book. And I just understood who he was, what he was. Mm, sorry. I'm shooting for eight minutes today. I'm shooting for eight minutes. I just made over seven minutes. <sighs> hey, Julie. Thanks for the inspiration, young lady. I appreciate you. Anyway, I read that book. I'm not a big fan of his language. I'm a Christian man. <laughs> but what I will say is, <sighs> I understood his mindset. The same thing I feel when it comes to Kobe. Same thing I feel when I feel with Michael Jordan. These people that just, you know, before I was like, oh, it's just, they, they just inspired me. But I see myself in these people, man. Ah, I'm going for eight minutes. I see myself in these people. So today I'm doing an Austin Marathon. And I'm going to get out here and do my best thing. Live my best life in the glory of the greatest up high. Peace, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like, I just did eight minutes. 8.06. Ah, done.